So now I have a very special guest who's a sort of, he's sort of a, a living example of how to incorporate fun into your life. He's the perfect example of what I was talking about. His name is Dan White, and he's an incredible magician. And what better way to bring some fun onto the set than with a magician? But this guy, he's just not any ordinary magician, you know? He's one of the coolest. I've met him, he's cool. Like, this guy's like laid back. Like I said, which side do you want to sit on? He's like, I don't care. Both of my sides are good. I'm like, oh, Dan, that's what I'm talking about. You know, Jimmy Fallon's a big fan of this guy. Neil Patrick Harris is a big fan of this guy. He now has a show called The Magician, and it's at the Nomad Hotel right here in New York City. And if you get a chance, go there and check him out. But let's meet him since he's here right now. Hey, Dan. White. Where you? Oh, oh what's back up, man? Here. How good you to see you. Very I'm nice good, you. good. Have a seat, my friend. Thank you so much. Oh, man. So um, tell me, how long have you been interested in magic? What got you into magic? I've been doing magic since I was uh, about 10 years old, and it started with my dad giving me a magic set. And it's, you know, one of those things, you see this magic set, and it's beautiful, mm -hmm. and it's full of mystery. And it's like, I don't know what this is about, but, you know, I spent so much time working on it, and then I saw David Copperfield and all these other great magicians, and... Uh, it's become, you know, real passion and turned it into a profession. Now, is your dad a magician? Did he's he... not. He's actually a painter. So he was like, I'm going to give my son something so he can get a little more occupied. Give him something to occupy some time. And you He had really no idea it. where it was going. He just <laughs> gave me a magic set and, it, I, you know, I turned it all around. Yeah. So you've, um, so you have your own show. Yeah. And you have a lot of big um, fans out there, celebrity fans. So, you know, and these guys are magicians. I, I know Fallon and I know Neil Patrick Harris yeah. is a pretty incredible magician himself. Absolutely. So have you ever had any of them say, hey, Dan, how did you do that? Show me that trick. Uh, you know, when you work with other magicians, it's mm -hmm. sort of like they, they, they see what you do and they respect you for it. There's some things that we fool each other with, but a lot of the time it's more like giving each other props for like, I like how you did that. You yeah. Know? Now, um, I want to learn something. Okay. Okay, but I, and they, I've read something that said that you can trick the person, like the smartest, the smarter the person and more aware the person is, the easier they are to trick. Absolutely. 100 because they're true. looking too hard at trying to figure out the trick. But the person who is just kind of like, well, yeah, what's going on here? They, they have a better chance of figuring it out. Yeah, it's sort of like the difference between kids and adults, too. Okay. Like with adults, with magicians, we sort of look at how people think and like where they're going to go. So mm -hmm. predictability is really important. I know that a normal, regular adult will see something and then make the next logical assumption. Kids don't necessarily do that. They'll just, their eyes are completely everywhere and they're yeah. open to the world. They're like, a, you know, it's just everything's open. So uh, because of that predictability and because of someone who's very smart, you can sort of tell where they're going. You can't do that with a kid. Oh, so you think you could trick me? No, I mean, I, I think you're an intelligent person, so it might be easier. <laughs> you do? Yeah. Really? Have you seen the first... 25, 20 minutes of this show? You think I'm intelligent? Whoa, here we go. All right, what you got for me? Show, uh, me, show me a trick. What do, what do you want to show? Yeah, you know, you mind standing up? It might, I think it'd be a little easier. Okay. A little easier right. to stand up for us. Um, I have a, a pack of matches here, right? All right. Let's see if the camera can check this out. Just get a little tight shot on these matches. No, they're real uh, matches, I can uh, attest. Real matches. Yeah. Um, I want you to touch one of those matches for me. Okay. I'll touch Perfect. Right, right that one on the end. Okay. I want you to hold that for a second. Right. Now, you could have picked any one of these matches. They're mm. all different. They're normal matches. Yep. Um, I want you to hold your left hand out. I'm going to place the matchbook right on your hand. But before I do that, I'm going to take the match. Okay. Close your hand tight. I'm going to take the match. Is that along with the fire code here or anything? I think it'd be all right. Okay. Why don't you close? Okay. Here's the cool part, though. You might feel this, you might not. Did you feel anything? Yeah, your hands are warm, man. You got some energy coming off. Energy. On. Yeah. Do me a favor, open up your hand. Okay. Open up the matches. You just took one match out. We burnt it. Okay. And now inside the match pack, I don't know if you can see this, but there's one, one burnt match. One burnt match. Wow. Right back in there. What's the... But wait. We're gonna take it a step further because that's just that's weird. That's just with matches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, We're gonna, hold okay. those matches again. Hold it again, real tight, real okay. tight. Squeeze your hand real tight around them. Okay. Like complete close. Perfect. And uh, we're gonna use these playing cards, right? Okay. Uh, and we're gonna do the same thing with these. I'm gonna go through the cards. They're all different, right? All right. And I'm going to yeah. flip through them yeah. just like this. And whenever you want, just say stop. Okay. okay. Very simple. Stop. Right there. Yeah. Look at that card. Uh -huh. Can you see it? Yep. Remember it? Yep. Camera gets it. Uh huh. Good. Remember what it is. Yep. I'm going to place these cards right in my hand. <laughs> You're thinking of one card right now. Yeah. You could have said stop anywhere. You saw all the cards mm -hmm. were different. 
For the first time, what is the card you were thinking of? Four of hearts. Four of hearts. Yes. If I just wave my hand over the deck, the one card that you were thinking of disappears. Okay. Disappears. If I go through the deck, you'll notice that in the deck, you picked the four of hearts. You could have picked any card. Mm-hmm. There's a four of there. diamonds. Yeah. Queens, okay. eights, threes, six. It's not in there. One card's gone. Yep. You saw that, though. Absolutely. Remember how we did that thing with the match where I put it in my mouth and it ended up back in your hand? Uh-huh. Would you be impressed if the four of hearts was in your hand right now? If that's, um, <laughs> if that's in my hand right now, I'm going to check my wallet, make sure my credit card is still <laughs> on me. Do me a favor, open up your hand. It's still the matches. Yeah. But can you open up that match pack for me? Mm. Dude, are you <laughs> No way! Okay. All right. I want, I want to take it even one step further. There's further, there okay. There's further. There's further. Um, we've got your book on the table. You yes. want to try something with you? Is that cool? Oh, yeah, it's you know, cool. Cool. I have actually... Uh, Touch my face. I actually started reading the book. It's amazing. Thank so, you very uh, much. I appreciate it. I'm going to have that. you autograph a copy for me later on. But we'll use this for now. I also have a... You mentioned your wallet. I'm going to give you my wallet. I okay. like that better. Okay. Can you uh, put this in your back pocket for of me course. real quick? Just put... Anyway. Perfect. And I'm going to grab a playing card from the pack. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to flip through the book just like this and use this bookmark this playing card okay. to mark it. Whenever you want, I'm going to go through. I just want you to say stop whenever you want. Whenever you want. Stop. Right there. Yeah, I'm going quick and Oop, quick now. Sorry, I, I missed it. Well, we can it. do it again. again. Stop. Right there. Yep. Card goes inside the book right here. Mm -hmm. This is right where you told me to say stop. OK. Just about? Yeah. OK. What's going to happen is I'm going to open up the book exactly where you told me to say stop. And I want you to memorize the top word on the page and the page number. OK. Right where you told me to say stop. You ready? Yep. Look at the top word and the page number. Okay. You got it? Yep. Top word, page number. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're thinking of one word right now. I'm going to try to guess what it is. Okay? Don't say it. Just think of it. You're thinking of a word and a number, correct? Mm -hmm. Look at me. This is a, it's a heavy word. Like, it means something. Yes. It's weird. I'm getting... Plural, like it's two things. <laughs> yes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the hard part. I'm seeing names. Names. That's not the name. Jean. That's my dad's name. And Luis. That's my mom's name. But that that wasn't the word. Nope. No. I gave him my wallet, right? Yes. Can you pull out my wallet for me? Inside right. my wallet, <laughs> I put something in here. Okay. Put something inside my wallet. I want you to check it out. Inside my wallet, I put a prediction. A prediction. There's nothing else inside my wallet at all except for my credit cards and one prediction, right? Uh huh. What was the word that you saw? Parents. Parents. Mm hmm. Check this out. Oh, <laughs> but let's take it a step further. <laughs> let's take it a step further. Because you thought of a page number as well, right? Yes. You thought of a page number as well. Um, I'm going to give you the book, right? Okay. It's your book. I want you to put your hands, one hand on top, one hand on the bottom. Perfect. Uh, and I want you to think of that page number. Mm -hmm. Think of the page number. There's no way you could get in or out of that book right now, correct? No. For the first time, what was the page number you thought of? 72. 72. I'm going to rip the page out of the book without me taking the book from you. I'll show you what I mean. Let me see this. You might feel this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you feel that? It's like electricity. You felt that? Yeah, I felt that. You said page 72? Yeah. Can you do me a favor and open to page 72 in the book? You get a nice tight shot on that. Page 72 in the book is gone. Page 72. Oh, ha, 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 ha. And you saw it, and you saw the word yeah, on it. You saw, saw 72. It. And it's gone. Look, there's a it's rip right about it. Keep that open. Keep that open. Because remember, there was nothing else inside my wallet. Uh huh. 
Dude. Inside my wallet now, there's another piece of paper. Another piece of paper. Page 72. And it's page 72. Wow. <laughs> but not only is it page 72, it's the exact page 72 of the book that you've been holding. What? The whole time, that fits wow. perfectly. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, you, this is your copy because you tore the page up. <laughs> 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 hey, dude, that is awesome, man. Thank you so much. Thank I you so much. Hey, hey, everybody, we got a lot of people standing back. Y'all give it up for Dan White. I'm coming to the Nomad. I would love I'm you coming to. to the Nomad. I've seen you I, there before. I yeah. would love to have you. I got to come see you. Dan White, he's at the Nomad Hotel right here in New York City. You got to go check him out.